Today we're going to enter the world of fairies and we're going to look at Foxglove. Foxglove has been the subject of fairy lore for centuries. Legend indicates that fairies are supernatural entities who live in enchanted forests and shadow worlds, dancing and making magic, good or bad, with childlike abandon. The alternative names for Foxglove give a glimpse into how embedded this plant is in fairy and magic folklore and includes fairy petticoats, fairy thimbles, fairy fingers, fairy weed, fox mittens, witches bells, witches thimbles, fox gloves, folks gloves, and fox bells. Indeed, the name fox glove itself is derived from a legend that says that evil fairies gave a fox the flower petals to put on his toes so that he could rob the chicken house without being heard. Thus the name Fox Glove. Fairy gardens have become quite popular and Fox Glove is a must-have for attracting fairies. Fairies supposedly play within the flowers and each spot inside marks the spot where a fairy has touched the surface. If we look at these foxgloves, which we're growing in our garden right now, you can see the spots very clearly. Placed in front of the house, foxglove is believed to protect the occupants from evil influences. Picking foxglove from the garden and bringing it inside is believed to anger the fairies. And placed in a charm or talisman, a piece of foxglove flower is believed to keep one inside protective fairy light. Now, a word of caution, foxglove is somewhat toxic. We'll cover that more in just a few minutes. Which is believed that when the plant was gently moved, the flowers made a magical sound that was heard in the spirit world, and it was answered by fairies and spirits. Therefore, when they wanted to contact such entities, they would focus their intention on the person or entity and ring the bells of the foxglove to contact them. Druids believed that the foxglove was sacred to the elemental powers and should not be cut as it would anger the spirits of the forest. However, this may have been a mere warning, as the plant is poisonous. In the past, the plant had medicinal uses. However, the main issue was to, to determine the amount of active ingredients from herbal mixes. In modern medicine, it is a very popular drug for heart conditions because we get digitalis from foxglove which is also believed the plant was used to mend broken hearts and receive emotional healing after difficult times. The easiest way to do this would be to write on a piece of paper the issue that caused them pain and visit the plant. What was written on the paper was then read in front of the plant and they then asked explicitly for spiritual healing on their request. The paper was placed at the base of the plant and they then rang the bells as a form of an alarm or announcement to ask for the spiritual aid. A libation was offered to the plant and to the spirits for their assistance. Foxglove is more properly known today as Digitalis. It's a perennial with sweet shaped flowers which, if administered in high enough doses, can lead to nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and death. Fatalities in humans is rare, although not unheard of, especially in children. A mistaken flower made into a tea or drinking the water from a vase are common ways of the poison finding its way into kids. Even animals find ingesting foxglove digitalis is a distasteful experience. Another side effect of digitalis poisoning is a slowly decreasing heart rate, which, if misdiagnosed and given electric shocks to kick the heart back up to speed, or giving the patient the standard defib medication, tachycardia, actually makes the problem worse. So it's always a good idea, if you have little ones, 
or adults who for one reason or another tend to eat flowers eat flowers in your garden to give them a heads up on avoiding this plant. Among the Roman gods, Juno, the wife of Jupiter, found her husband's ability to conceive with other women, but not herself, rather irksome. Apt and Minerva sprang from the thigh of Jupiter without the aid of a woman at all, Juno went to the goddess of Flora, whose realms included all things vegetative in the world. Flora slipped a foxglove bloom on her thumb and lightly touched Juno's stomach and breasts, with the result being instant conception. Juno went to the nearest beach and spontaneously gave birth to her son, Mars. Though the name foxglove likely has nothing to do with foxes, but more likely a corruption of fo folks glove, there are a few in folklore, folklore that mention foxglove. In Scandinavia, it's believed that the fairies taught foxes to ring the little bells to warn other foxes of approaching hunters. It's also thought that their tiny feet were made quiet by wearing the gloves. As we said earlier, that allows them to raid a nearby hen house quietly. Fairies are quite fond of the flower, as are butterflies and bees, and it's believed that if you wish for the fairy folk to make a home in your garden, plant some foxglove where you wish them to live. It was also believed that taking foxglove allowed people to communicate with fairies, likely right before their heart kicked off. Fairies were often depicted with a foxglove bell for a hat, and oddly enough, though foxglove is used to lure fairies, it was also believed that it was effective in breaking their enchantment over humans. humans. Eventually, medical science caught up with the folklore and with modern-day herbalists, and foxglove is still used in medicine today. So, if you plant foxglove, just beware, it is a poisonous plant.